Silver Dave here. You know the American Silver Eagle, and you might have heard about the Fiji Taku made by the New Zealand Mint. Which one's better? Let's find out. Hi, today I want to compare two coins. They are very similar and at the same time quite different. Let me explain. First, we have the Silver Eagle. It is a one ounce, three ninths bullion coin. Then we have the New Zealand Mint Fiji Taku. And it is also a three ninths, one ounce bullion coin. But how are they different? And how are they the same? Well, the same part is quite easy. They are both one ounce, three ninths silver bullion coins. But the difference is, this is a mass produced product of which the United States Mint makes around 30 million to 40 million a year. This is a low volume mintage product that the New Zealand Mint makes around, I believe for 2012, they minted uh, 350,000 uh, pieces. So we are on a scale of comparing a mass produced coin that is produced over a hundred times more than this coin. So let's get started. How are we going to compare them? Well, let's start with purity. Both coins are 3 ninths pure. So in terms of purity and weight, both coins are equal. What about reputation? Which one is the better known of the two coins? Well, I would say amongst collectors, the Fiji Taku is quite well known. Let's see if I can focus. It is a beautiful silver coin featuring a mirror finished turtle with a lot of intricacies in the turtle shell design and this sort of matte finish water to give you the impression that the turtle is swimming in water. It is a, uh, I believe a hawksbill turtle from the Pacific, one of the endangered species of turtles uh, on the planet and on the back reverse you have a young image of Elizabeth II. The image is quite small on this sort of matte finish face. It creates a lot of contrast and is a very very beautiful coin and I believe amongst stackers this is rated as one of the most beautiful coins there is out there. Now, on the other hand, you have the Silver Eagle. And the Silver Eagle comes from the United States Mint. I think um, in terms of reputation, just purely in terms of reputation, the Silver Eagle is better known. It is the most produced bullion silver coin out there. And Every single dealer buys Silver Eagles, every single dealer sells Silver Eagles. You would be hard pressed to find a single dealer who does not know about Silver Eagles. And even amongst uh, laymen, the Silver Eagle is quite, uh, quite well known. If you ask uh, just random people, I would guess around maybe 20 to 30% have heard at least about the Silver Eagle. So I believe that in terms of how well known a mint is um, and how well known a coin is, the Silver Eagle is unbeatable in the world of silver. However, one thing you cannot deny is that the New Zealand mint makes 
very, very beautiful coins. And this is where sort of the reputation of the mint comes in. The New Zealand mint is not well known amongst common people. And it is not so well known even amongst, I would say, beginner stackers. But amongst people in the know, they know that the New Zealand mint produces some of the most collectible silver coins, including the Star Wars series of coins. And the, um, I believe this year they're producing the Star Wars Death Star, both in um, silver and there is a one ounce gold version, which I might consider getting. And each one of their coins tend to carry a heavy premium, especially the more artistic ones, which feature uh, Star Wars or Star Trek. And in terms of coin quality, their product is almost unparalleled. <laughs> I mean, they, they make some of the best artistic coins out there. There is nothing wrong with the Silver Eagle. It is a very beautiful coin, but this is a, it is a mass produced product. They make between 30 million and 40 million coins every single year. So don't expect the same kind of quality between this and this. I definitely have to give the point of coin quality to the New Zealand Mint. The finish is almost unparalleled when you compare it to the American Silver Eagle. And it is considered amongst coin stackers as you know, one of the most uh, beautiful coins you can have in your collection. So this point goes to the Fiji Taku. Coin design. I'm not going to talk about how, which one I prefer. Obviously, um, different people prefer different things. But as you may know, I like a coin with a good coin edge. And I do have some issues with the American Silver Eagle about the coin edge. Um, as you may know, I don't find the coin edge very well designed because the two designs tend to rub against each other. And there's a lot of play between the coin edge, which means that the faces of your coins rub against each other and leave small dent marks around this area because of the shield here. It rubs a little bit against this and sometimes you see a little indent when you stack your coins up. Does the Fiji Taku have the same issue? Well, no, it is a perfect stack between the two coins. And on both sides, it's a perfect stack. And I think that it has a very, very, like you can feel this rated edge but it isn't, you don't feel that it's very sharp. It's been very well cut. And the design is made very, very well so that you can have this sort of a uh, nice stack. And at the same time, because there's a sort of matte finish on here and a shiny finish, you have areas where you can hold the coin without actually touching the mirror image. Same on this side, you know, the matte finish means that you can actually touch this area without touching too much of the coin and without marking the uh, high mirror polish on the, the faces. This is a very well designed coin and I'm gonna have to give the point to the Fiji Taku. Now let's talk about premiums. <laughs> That's a funny topic. Which one is cheaper to uh, which one's closer to spot? Which one do you think is closer to spot? The mass produced Silver Eagle or the low mintage Fiji Taku? I mean, if logic applies, then it would be the, the Silver Eagle that would be closer to spot. And that was true until this year. <laughs> I mean, for some weird reason, for some reason, the Silver Eagle is so in demand. I went on AP, uh, <laughs> I went online and, uh, you know, and I went on a few dealer sites. I don't want to name them, but they're selling the Silver Eagle at, I think, $29 a piece for a thousand units. And I, I just sit there and I'm thinking, 
That's crazy. That is so insane. That is such a high premium. Silver is what, $22 spot? And they have such a huge premium and they're not dropping it even if you buy large quantities. Do you know what is a premium on the Fiji Taku, the 20, the latest version? I think I saw on JM Bullion, it's only uh, $30 a piece. So which one has a lower premium? Um, for some strange reason, it's the Fiji Taku right now. Um, I know I bought this from an individual. I got them for $28 for 20 of these. And uh, yeah, so I got a good deal. Silver Eagles, I think the, I bought like a few individual pieces. I could not get them under $30. I think I paid, I bought one Silver Eagle because last month, because I do like Silver Eagles. I like having a few of them laying around because they're so well known. Um, these ones, I got them before sort of the premium hike. So I got these for uh, $27 a piece. I got my latest one, I got only one, I only bought one. I paid $33 for it plus shipping plus tax. So, <laughs> and this one was everything shipping, everything included was 28. Um, yeah, premiums go, lower premiums go to the Fiji uh, Taku. Now in terms of liquidity, which coin is more liquid? Oh God, I hate the focus. Which coin is more liquid? Um, I think it's without doubt that they're both liquid. They are both uh, silver bullion coins made out of 3.9 silver. So when you go to any, I would say pretty much any coin shop will take these in. But the Silver Eagle is the most sold and bought coin in the world. Um, people know about it. People, this is kind of the first coin people ask for when they go to a coin shop. They're like, do you have any silver eagles? I think partly is because prior to this year and prior to the pandemic, silver eagles were a good bang for your buck. They sold near spot. They were just slightly above spot and you could get them readily available at any coin store. And if you wanted a, a Fiji Taku, for example, from a coin store, you would pay, you know, roughly the same premium you're paying now, but the Silver Eagle was cheaper. For some reason, <laughs> this year, the Silver Eagle has really, really high premiums. It is still the most liquid coin. It is still the most bought and sold coin. And I think compared to the Taku, the Taku is a decently well-known coin amongst, uh, amongst dealers and stackers, but the Eagle is king amongst normal folk. So people who do not collect silver and who have not been collecting silver for a long time, who, who maybe would just want to get into some of, um, get into silver for a little bit, the Silver Eagle is the starting point. So the Silver Eagle has a lot more buyers, has a lot more places where you can sell it. And um, yeah, Silver Eagles are the most liquid of the two. So there you have it. We have three points for the Eagles and four points for the Taku. Um, I, I don't want people to think like I'm Eagle bashing, but I think the Silver Eagles, they definitely like, they, they were never made to be a sort of collector coin. And for some reason right now, they have become a collector coin. I, I would even say that there's a lot of hype around the Silver Eagles, specifically. There is hype, somewhat of a hype around silver, but specifically when you consider the type of uh, manufacturing process and what's available out there, there is quite a high hype on the Silver Eagles because for the same, price or even less than the silver eagles, you can get these silver bullion coins, which both have the same, fill the same bullion purpose and have on top a collector value. Or you could go with the uh, more technologically, more advanced 2020 silver maple leaves. You could go with the cheaper uh, philharmonics. 
You can go with uh, rounds, which tend to be a lot cheaper than <laughs> Silver Eagles. But Silver Eagles, for some reason, just have so much demand. And it's hard to explain. I think part of it is because it is such a well-known coin. But I definitely cannot say that Silver Eagles are the best coin out there in terms of quality, uh, coin design, and... Uh, and low premiums at least not for this year uh, maybe next year it will change maybe premiums will come down next year i highly doubt it but i can tell you that if you take 20 like i have 20 eagles you're going to find quite a few milk spots on your eagles there's going to be a few you can see there's a big milk spot here there's a big milk spot here you can find that the edges don't always perfectly align you know they, they have these are not things that you see in a low mintage coin, you can see this one has quite a big edge flaw here. There's quite a big gap. It means that there's just touching the middle. Mints that produce fewer coins, they temp typically pay more attention to their quality because there's fewer coins they need to deal with. And for some reason this year, these type of coins are being ignored and it's a damn shame. But you know what it means? It means that one man's trash is another man's treasure and you can pick up some pretty cool collector coins for a low premium and that's a great thing so this is silver dave and uh, if you like the video click like if you want to chat write a comment below i'll reply and uh thank you for watching have a nice day